What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scuba and Marina. I'm down here in my workshop going through some gear and I've been getting a lot of comments here recently about what gear do you use and why do you use it. Um, so I thought I, this would be the first of several videos showing you all my personal gear and I'm going to briefly go through the BCDs today and tell you why I use them, the purpose that I use them for, and why I have so many. Now, first of all, I'm going to give you a disclaimer. Yes, I do own a scuba shop here in the state of North Carolina. Uh, I've been in the scuba industry for quite a while. I've worked for multiple dive shops uh, prior to co-owning the one I do now. And, you know, I've been very, very fortunate that I can get my hands on a lot of neat equipment. I've used just about every gear manufacturer out there. And, and I'll be honest with you and say it's all good equipment. There, there's not one that's that I would say is completely crappy, don't use it, but I will say this, that the gear I use has a very specific purpose. Now, one thing that you're gonna see, I've got several different BCs that I, that I personally use day in, day out, and I'm gonna show you, and the majority of them are Mares. So I'll go ahead and tell you, I am a Mares dealer, so when I go to upgrade new BCDs, I have that benefit that I can pick one off the shelf and say, okay, this is going to be, so the majority of these BCDs are Mares, but there's several that are not, and I'll talk about why I don't use those for those particular types. So the first BCD that I'm going to show you here, this is my teaching BCD. This is what I use if I'm front of the students. This is what I use when I travel just for fun, um, and this is just a basic Mares Hybrid Pure BCD, nothing fancy with it. It is a back inflate system. It does have uh, weight integrated weights that if I need to use them, I can. I really like the back inflates I have for a very long time, so I like that it's got the soft shoulder pads. Um, a couple of the additional features that I've added, I've added a set of shears here on my inflator hose. Um, I have added, because this, this model comes with plenty of D-rings, but it doesn't have any type of hip D-rings, so I've added a hip D-ring here on the left and also a hip D-ring here on the right. And this is just all around my, my favorite BCD to use as far as traveling, fun diving, teaching, just anything like that. Um, I really like it. Another cool thing about it folds, the back plate will actually fold. So once I dump all the air out, I can fold this unit up to about the size of a small basketball. So it's, it's really neat for travel. But that's my teaching and all around fun diving BCD. The next one I'm gonna show you is what I consider my work BCD. And what I mean by work is if I'm doing salvage work or if I'm doing underwater surveying or if I'm doing deep diving and I, and I need to clip multiple cylinders off and stuff like that. Um, I do love backplate wings and I've, I've had several over the years. I've sold several different manufacturers, but this is from the new Mares XR line. Um, this is the current one that I'm using. This is their, I believe this is the 34 pound lift. Uh, single donut bladder. I do believe in simplicity as far as harness goes. So I do have the one piece harness. I, I don't have any additional features like that. Now I do have the comfort pad on here and the comfort pad on the shoulder straps. And uh, let me talk a little bit about why I do that. In the winter time or any time that I'm doing salvage work or public safety work, I wear a tri-laminate uh, dry suit. And even with the thick undergarments that I have, in the winter time, the stainless steel back plate tends to get extremely cold on my back. So I like that comfort cushion here on my back to help just kind of insulate my back just a little bit more from the, the cold stainless steel. Now, as far as the webbing straps go, since I do have the single piece webbing, I like that because it's very basic. I don't, there's no adjustment. It's just, I put it on, it fits, it works great. But I did put the comfort cushion on here because these webbing straps, unfortunately, and I don't care what manufacturer you use, with a tri-laminate base dry suit, over time, the webbing strap will start to chafe a little bit and tear into your suit. Now, it's not gonna tear up your suit completely, but you do wanna take good care of your equipment. So I did put the comfort pads here on the shoulder straps just to protect my suit. And I'll show you in, a, in another video when I go over my exposure protections that I wear, um, that chafing that I was kind of talking about. But this is my just basic back plate wing. Now, one feature I did add, I did put the butt plate down here on the back because like I said, I do sling a lot of stage tanks a lot. If I'm doing salvage work and I need to take an extra tank with me to uh, fill up a lift bag or something like that, I like to be able to sling it. And with that butt plate, it helps keep everything streamlined instead of having a tank hanging down or hanging up or anything like that. So guys, this is just my all around work BCD. It's what I do salvage work in. And I do some of my public safety diving with this. Um, I'm gonna show you a different model BCD that I use for public safety diving. 
and talk a little bit about why I use it over this system here. So the next one just happens to be my public safety model, and this is a non mares product. This is a completely different company. This BCD is a public safety specific BCD. This is made by Lifeguard Systems, and it is just a plain Jane jacket style BCD. There's nothing really fancy about it. It's not even weight integrated. With this particular model, I do have to wear a weight belt with it. Um, but what I really like about this, it's easy to put on in a quick deploy situation. Even in a dry suit, um, you know, in aluminum 80, aluminum 30, I can pick this guy up, spin it around, throw it on in about two to three seconds. So it's very quick and easy to get into. I don't have to sit here and struggle with straps or adjust anything. It's pre-set up for me. I can pick it up, throw it on. Um, it does have a built-in pony holder back here in the back that holds a pony tank. It'll hold, I believe, a 19 to a 30 cubic foot. Now, for any time I take additional air with me, for me or my buddy, it's always a 30 or larger size uh, cubic tank. So I really like this. It's easy. Any 30 cubic foot tank, I can simply just slide it down in there, cinch it down, and it's good to go. Um, it does have a trim pouch back here. That's just to help balance out that tank. But the pockets on here are specifically designed for lift bags and stuff that I use during my public safety work. Um, there's reflectors all the way across it, so if we're doing nighttime operations. But like I said, it's a bulletproof BCD. I really like it because that's what it's designed for. I don't teach in this. I don't uh, go do salvage work. This is for quick deployment operations. And usually in the summertime, this guy stays hooked up to a tank with a pony pre-attached. All I got to do if I get a call out is throw a regulator, grab my full face mask, throw my dry suit on, and I'm in the water. So it's a really good, awesome model. Now on this particular one, you'll notice on some of these other ones, I do have shears mounted everywhere. This one, I do keep a knife here on this side, and I keep a set of EMT shears here. Now anytime I do public safety work, I also wear a... Uh, tender harness where the guys from the surface can hook a rope to me as I go down and on that harness There's also two more cutting tools. So in the event whatever reason I had to get rid of this I still have cutting tools with me, but guys, that's the lifeguard systems public safety model BCD The next one I'm gonna show you is it is another Mares model and like I said being a Mares dealer I'm very fortunate that I can swap out BCDs anytime but this is just a, this is the Marius Prestige. It's just a basic jacket style weight integrated unit. Um, I still have this guy, even though I primarily use back and plate systems and I really like the back and plate, whether it's a back plate wing or just a back and plate um, BCD. The reason I still have this is, this BCD is bulletproof. I, I've almost ran over this thing with my truck. I've dropped it off of boats before. I've drug it across concrete. I don't know what else I can do to this thing to get it to tear up because I can't get it to tear up. It's, it's an awesome BCD. I've, I've dropped weights and stuff on the exhaust ports here or the exhaust valves and it hadn't even cracked them. Um, and I'm sure one day I will eventually tear it up. But all in all, this BCD has been bulletproof for me. I use this for, I've actually here recently put it into our rental pool for people to rent out or for our students to use during class. But I use this primarily, if somebody walks into our shop and says, hey, I dropped something off the dock, can you come get it? Absolutely, it's a great BCD, grab real quick, throw in a tank, go off and use. Um, I also, like I said, I use it a lot for pool work. It has started fading a little bit uh, from a lot of chlorine use, but that, like I said, this is, I call it my junker BC. A lot of my junk diving, I throw it on to go do it. Stuff like that, if I'm working on somebody's pool, patching a hole or something, this is the BCD that I'll grab. But guys, that's the Mares Prestige BCD. Like I said, it, it's bulletproof. I, I'm not sure what I can do to tear it up because I've tried, trust me. But um, that's pretty much what I use for junk diving. The last BCD that I, I'm going to show you is, is another personal model that I have. Um, I don't personally use this anymore, primarily because I can't wear it. I've outgrown it. It's a size small. I wear a medium to a large, so I can't really wear this BCD anymore. But the reason I still have it, and I've never tried to sell it or get rid of it, um, it's because it's the first BCD I've ever owned. Um, this happened to be my mother's. Uh, it was a hand-me-down to me. I started diving in 1988, so I've been using it ever since. Uh, and until I grew out of it, I still currently use this BCD. So this is a Sherwood Silhouette Plain Jane Jacket. Uh, there was no chest strap on this model, no weight integrated weights. 
Um, it had the, the replaceable um, tank holder back here in the back or tank sleeve if you want to replace that. It, it looks brown, guys, but I promise you when I got this BCD, even used from my mother, it was black. Um, that's how much this, this thing's been in chlorine over the years. Like I said, I, I used this until I outgrew it, and, and I've kept it ever since. Now, there's another reason I kept this BCD, and I show it to a lot of my students, is, you know, she had this in the early 80s. I started using it in the late 80s um, and up into the early 90s. But it's still in perfect working order. Even though cosmetically it just looks terrible, I think it's even got paint. Uh, don't ask me where the paint comes from because that's a long story, but... Um, it's guys it still works if you take good care of your gear if you get it serviced every year like you should like the inflator here i think i've rebuilt this thing probably 10 times and it's still in perfect working order the bladder has absolutely no leaks i've replaced the o-rings and the inflator several times and other than cosmetics it's practically a brand new bcd and i, I show this to people to to tell you the initial investment you put into scuba diving, if you take good care of your gear, that investment is nothing, guys. Your gear will outlast you as long as you take care of it and you rebuild it when you when you should. But that's the Sherwood Silhouette BCD that I've had since 1988. My mother had it even um, before that. So, guys, these are my personal BCs. These are what I use on a day-in, day-out basis. I take good care of my gear. Now, when I do upgrade, of course, I'm either going to put this into rental, buy me something new, or I will sell it. But that last one I showed you, I'll probably never sell. Even, even if the bladder gets cut, I'll keep it. I still won't throw it away because it, it's a piece of my diving history. It's very nostalgic for me, and, and that's why I keep it. But, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I plan on shooting my personal regs, my personal... Um, um, suits my wet suits my dry suits everything that i'm currently using because i want you guys to see what i use you know just because i'm a mares dealer don't mean i always use mares now the mares equipment that i do use i believe in it the mares equipment that i sell i do believe in it but i want you to see that even dive professionals sometimes use some things other than what they sell so guys i really hope you enjoyed the video if you got any questions on any of these bcs or any questions about my personal diving all you got to do is simply ask or put it down in the comment section below but guys as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business